the summer of magic was over. Oh, no, not so. Cody's with another magician and that you're going to see on uh, CW's Masters of Illusion. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have Eric Jones with us today. Ooh. Eric, thank you so much for joining us in our summer of magic. Magic. Ooh. All over. Magic. Magic. Hey, uh, how are you? I have been a big fan of your work for a long time. Uh, I want to ask you, the first question is, uh, you have such great command when you're on stage and when you're doing your stuff, but I heard that you were very shy when you were a kid. I've always been really shy. I'm what you call an extroverted introvert. I turn on the charm only when I have to, but I'm a really private guy. That's very interesting to me because you do, you command the stage when you're in there. I think that's fascinating. Okay, let's talk a little bit about, because uh, I'm a big fan of your close-up work. When you're yeah. on a stage and you're doing like a huge arena, like the, like the show that you're doing, we were doing on Friday night, um, is that hard because you do so much close-up work or do you have a system? Uh, there's always a system, you know, uh, all cheating's fair, in my opinion. Uh, and one of the things that I love to do is I like to feel out an audience to see how they're going to respond prior to me going on stage, whether that's the warm-up com comedian or whatever the warm-up act is. And I base what I'm going to perform uh, on the audience. So every single show is different. Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, you said you agreed you would do a magic trick for us live this morning. What trick are you going to yes. perform? So there's a lot of magic that you're going to see on CW's Masters of Illusion. I do a lot of magic myself, uh, but I wanted to try something different this morning. Uh, I wanted to use something that everyone's familiar with. A Rubik's, a Rubik's Cube. cube. A Rubik's this cube. is a miniature Rubik's Cube. It okay. came out in 1978. It was released in 1982. So for 40 years, people have been trying to solve this little cube. Believe it or not, there are a little, a few interesting facts, one of which is that if you were to turn this cube one time per second, it would take you 1.4 trillion years to get to all of the different combinations. Oh, my God. Think oh. about it in another sense. <laughs> um, there are more than 43 quintillion different combinations to the Rubik's Cube, which means that it would take you 118 years to spend one trillion dollars per day to reach 43 quintillion different dollars. I did not realize we were going to take the SATs this morning. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? But what I did want to do today is I wanted to show you something more interesting. You've heard of sleight of hand. Uh huh. Have you ever heard of sleight of mouth? Oh, mm -hmm. what? No. no. <gasps> What? Okay. Is this what? safe? Uh, what? Oh, yeah. Right. Yes. True. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to challenge you on that. You're right. Hummus is delicious. Get out of here. <laughs> Get Stop. out. Stop. Solve the Rubik's Cube. Oh, boy. Shut your face. And Literally. Uh, what? The, what? That was amazing. It's a trick, but it's kind of cool. That was amazing. Thank you so much for doing that. Uh, Friday night. That's insane. Uh, what are you going to perform Friday night? Do you have like a, um, a special thing? Because I know you've got, you've got something yeah. really cool. Friday night, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do probably the most clean production of three coins, and then I'm going to make them vanish. So clean, I call it OxyClean. OxyClean. Ooh. All right. Thank you so <laughs> much for joining us, man. We really appreciate it. That was crazy. No problem. Remember How to is join us Friday night's on Masters of Illusion. Thank you so much. Whoa, yeah, it's, it. it's magic. Oh, did it just? Uh, <laughs> I recommend you do the Rubik's great. Cube thing on the show. That is a showstopper. That right was there. great. That was Good great. Lord. It's insane. Wow. And like, you know, you're like, well, maybe he's storing another Rubik's Cube. No, no. there's no room in there for another it's, Rubik's mm -hmm. Cube. Not a chip back. <laughs> That's insane. Well, it's he's got the beard. Maybe he does have bigger cheeks than we think. <laughs> oh, no. We don't know. So, for some reason, I got out of my chair when I saw I don't know why, but I had to stand up when I saw that.